I'm Yui Che. I'm a partner from Seoul office. I'm in global technology and service practice. Major changes include uh, technical expertise like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data. They need to have uh, leadership and fellowship to recruit uh, right uh, developers and engineers and also ability for culture shaping. And more um, local companies try to expand into global market. Um, global experience and business acumen are also um, required capabilities for a successful CTO. I actually placed one uh, CTO who worked for a um, silicon-based uh, big tech company who joined a local e-commerce company. He drove culture shaping into agile organization and he developed a um, very strong tech team. As more Korean local companies try to expand into global markets, developing um, tech leadership with a global experience and business acumen um, is very critical. And um, as more female leaders emerged in the digital space as a founder of um, startup businesses and also female executives at global and local companies are increasing. Um, but the CTO and CIO uh, function roles um, developing uh, the leadership, especially female leadership, is behind. We need to create a culture where um, tech leaders with global mindset and business acumen can work um, cross-functionally and cross-geographically. And also incumbent tech leaders um, put more focus on developing female talent and the functional role of a CTO and CIO. At the same time, um, the female leaders or um, female talent in their mid-career, they need to have a long-term sustainable career goal. They can be CTO and CIO, and later they can turn into CEO. As a successful CTO profile evolves uh, being business savvy, and uh, leadership responsibilities. So having uh, business acumen and understanding their business and products and also communication skills with the various stakeholders uh, will be very important.